Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Stranded Alien Dawn. We've survived the nightmare that is being attacked by huge mantises. Manti. Something like that. <laughs> Ravenously hungry. Kana, go get some... What, what are you doing? Or... Uh, <laughs> she's gonna pet, pet Frederick or Scout, perhaps? I thought she was coming out here to take a bite out of the... A, <laughs> a bite out of our... our uh, animals here. Is there a reason you're covered in snow? Does this no longer have a roof? What happened to the roof? I don't understand. Well, anyway. <laughs> Unless I... Oh, there we go. Ah, they do have a roof. Or at least this one does. I don't know what happened to this roof. Anyway. Ooh, intellect two? She can do basic math now. <laughs> oh, we definitely cut down these trees. Okay, so I'm gonna move, uh, and by reduce, I wanna get rid of this field. Basically, I wanna move these, these, uh, trees out of the way, because the plan in the spring is to extend our defensive wall out and around our our fields here partially to keep bugs out of the out of the woodwork <laughs> um but also to uh just have better defenses in general because like when we had beetles coming from this side like we had no way of defending against them so we're gonna move these trees we'll go ahead and let them grow for now they're not really hurting anything like, these are almost done, so they'll get cut down and then we won't replant them. But we will queue up new trees over here. Small evergreen, 10. It's still a 3x3 three three though, so it takes up some space. Maybe they grow faster? Ooh, fireworks. That's fun. 12 days? 18 days. Hmm. It's like six more days for twice as much wood though. Yeah, I think I'll do... I'll do it like this. We'll just queue them up over here. Yeah, because they're not... They won't really be in the way of our gun turrets then. And then we'll do big evergreen trees right behind them. Just like we did before. And we'll make it... Maybe even make that one bigger so we have more access to even more wood. We have almost a thousand wood though, so it's like... It's not like we're hurting. Our uh, stick field is over here. I was actually thinking it might be good to do a, a big, uh, a big fruit bush field out here too, because they just kind of grow on their own once they've been planted. It's maybe like a, like this, just more fruit, because we're we're like running low on food. We're pretty, <laughs> we're pretty much self-sustaining on meat and raw insect meat at this point, which is kind of wild. I'm, I'm sure our people are going to get annoyed shortly at, uh, having to subsist on, on gross bug meat. Now, I was kind of wondering, and maybe you guys know this, but is there a benefit to having the wooden ceiling and then the wooden roof? The, or, or just a roof on top of your ceiling? Because I've seen a lot of buildings where the roofs are just flat. So like, does the roof help with insulation at all or is it just to make it look nice? Or does like the ceiling accomplish the, the insulation just as well? I see this poop. There we go. Use. Because I would love to turn that into fuel. Down to three days of food, but we're almost into spring and we just had our New Year's celebration, so... Things are starting to look up. Yes! Bush fruit! Harvest time! Lara? Vanessa, get out here. <laughs> start start harvesting stuff. We're, we're gonna starve soon. Seeing this, like, cool... This red plant? That's kind of neat. It's raining! Sleeping, soaking wet is outright horrible. 
On the other hand, it's great for plants and boosts their growth. You don't say. Oh, look at the chew root! It's growing! Did we already harvest some of this? We must have, because uh, this one's almost at 100%. Very cool. I was thinking about- so I was thinking about the brick manufacturing over here. I'm thinking I want to turn this down to 50. I don't think it makes sense to have 100 in stock when we don't use it all that much. Lara's butchering up this huge mantis. We should probably- we don't have an, any berries. Somebody get out of here and tame- and harvest these berries. I wonder if it's because it's not part of the field anymore. That, uh... They're like, we don't wanna... Space debris crash? Oh, it's a distant one. We discovered scissor hands. Oh, <laughs> that's what the mantis is called. I was like, Edward, hello? Um, I have seen huge genetically engineered mantises in a zoo once, but this creature is something else. The scissor hands, as I've named it, has a razor sharp front legs, which shred its victims into pieces in an instant. Its forelegs make it fast and agile, traits which get further enhanced by its remarkable senses. Upon closer examination, I've deduced that its antenna insist in detecting movement around it. Taming of scissor hands if researched. Wow, Why, how wild would that be if we could tame a scissor hands, huh? Takes 10 meat. There is a 20% chance of failure if you try to tame it. But how cool would that be if we could tame these things? We could have attack manti. That's wild to think about. The other thing we should probably do is up our... our alloy stockpile because if we want to start making mechs or even like some of the more advanced material stuff uh you need a lot of alloys so just having a lot on hand is a good thing another large statue look at that a cool decoration takes 40 concrete could have a glutch a scarabay i've never a gujo i feel like i saw a gujo once and then promptly forgot about it all right, uh, I was gonna look at the 3D printer. I wanna stack this bad boy just like here. Cause this thing can print electronics for you. If that's the case, I don't know if it can print CPUs or even power cells, but it'd be really cool if I could take electronics off off of production on the, the soldering bench and just let the 3D printer have at it. That would be really nice. Our food supply is going back up. This is great news. Is it Glutch just hanging out out here? <laughs> Doing something? I don't know. We have a lot of wood. Have we finished our construction upstairs? We have. Oh, uh, in fact, we can uh, enter the next phase, which is expanding out, not the room, expanding out these bedrooms here. So we'll put a stick wall here. Oh, that, that bedroom's already expanded. Stick wall here. Rita's sick? How did this happen? And then we'll... Uh, put a stick wall here and then once those are all done good job Vanessa what did you get sick with Rita oh she got pneumonia well that's not good but <laughs> uh okay that wall is done so that means we can go ahead and delete it's a little tricky to click on just the wall deconstruct what are you doing Oh, you treated her. I was like, what on earth? <laughs> you just busted in there looking at your phone. But no, it, it makes more sense now. Go ahead and delete the wooden door. Delete this wall. Delete that guy. All right, grand. That wall's been constructed. So go ahead and delete you. Not the wooden window. Well, I guess we could delete the wooden window. There we go. And the door. And 
this guy. I, um, I was told that a 4x5 is the best room size you can make. Thank you for that info in the comments. But unfortunately, I've set my house up <laughs> for not 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 to be able to accomplish that uh, easily. Anyway, we could like steal from the hallway, I guess, oh, and then like add another balcony out here to kind of expand the bedroom further. But I'm hoping that maybe expanding just the three by to be a three by four will help. We'll see. I'm I'm guessing it probably won't all that much, but. You know, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out together. Alright, so that's all queued up now. The next step is... I want to see... How's our battery power doing? It looks like we have about a thousand power... At night. So the question is... If we were to build more guns because I the whole reason I flattened this out was to be able to put guns on the back of the house here like if we threw them down here how much power well, well I guess they wouldn't be on all the time they would just be kind of on when we need defense we don't have the CPU cores for it anyway Aha! Ooh. okay so if we produce carbon nanotubes, let's produce carbon nanotubes one time. It takes 10 fuel, 10 alloys, which is wild. Hey, you can print all this stuff. Whoa. Should we, do, does that mean we need even need, I guess the soldering bench is for, for laser tool, or uh, not laser tools. <laughs> it's for, uh, is for making weapons then, huh? So let's take electronic CPUs and power cells off of there. And then we should probably craft a laser pike. No, we shouldn't have it until. They're gonna. That's a weird. Weird thing to do. Yeah, we want. Whoops. So let's queue up our stuff here. We do want it to make carbon nanotubes because that'll unlock a ton of research for us. But we want to also have our electronics and such all queued up here. So CPU cores was two. And then power cells, I guess, will do two as well. Oops. There. And the great thing about this is I don't think anybody needs to man the station just uses electricity. Oh, it just kind of consumes by existing. So you want to have it running at all times. Oh, we should definitely be fast forwarding through the evening. All right, everybody, everything's queued up. I think we'll send somebody out on a mission tomorrow to go check out the nearby crash. Somebody get out here and close this damn gate before the, the bugs, the bugs? Nope, don't you dare, Frederick. Lara's up. Okay, so Lara. Oh no, it's uh, Rita. What is she doing? She's mm, doing something. Rita, come out here and close this gate before I forget. And before Frederick escapes. Ha ha! <laughs> He's stuck in there now. All right, back to two. Okay, let's see. Glutch! No, you fool! <laughs> You exploded yourself on my landmines. Well, survival of the fittest. Are you eating my my stuff? I can't tell. Damn it, you stupid bug! <laughs> oh, can't reach stockpile. I don't know what that means. I feel like it's referring to these stockpiles, but they should definitely be reachable. But anyway, let's see. Ex expedition. We have cruise ship debris. Crash site. Oh, we should get out there uh, pronto because that one does expire. All right. Crash site it is. 
Let's see. I think... Lara, you are the strongest person on our crew. So, away you go. Good luck to you. Can't reach wooden wall. Did I do something weird up here? Can't reach stock. The, the walls where the doors were, I forgot to disassemble the wall. There we go. There's a window there, there's a window there. Looking pretty solid. We want to add in the new... The parquet floor, otherwise they're going to be cranky about their flooring looking ugly. There we go. Alright, flooring it is. House flooring. Wooden parquet. Like make sure you got it all, all covered. Do you th do you get a better modifier for having carpet instead of just wood car par parquet, or is it all like the same? It's like two wood, but that's two cloth, stone, concrete, whatever. Skin bark, which we've, the, I know the skin bark comes from the purple mushrooms. I've just they're like across the map, and like I think they're in the scorpion den. I don't, I don't remember exactly. Let's see. I was wondering, actually, I should check this, but when the sun goes down, is like, what level of power do we get to when it comes to uh, the end of the day? Because right now we're gaining like 84 power per day. They keep saying they can't reach the stockpile. Does that mean the stockpile is full? Because I could definitely see the wood stockpile being full. Oh, we did it! Yes! Are you just going? Let's take carbon nanotubes out of here. Awaiting materials. Alright, so somebody come over here and handle this thing so it can it can do its work. One thing I was thinking about is if as we expand out the base here, I would love to I would love to move the balloon so we can move this stockpile or we can expand out our stockpile because we're getting to the point where we, where we have like crazy amounts of um materials just like on hand so it'd be nice to double our stockpile size and then get this like out here somewhere like maybe even like here actually why don't we do that let's cut you stuff okay and then let's see if we start expanding out our base like fortification concrete so we couldn't this is how far I want to extend the wall so if we wanted to do that that takes about 200 230 concrete to get it all the way out there Oh, our bat- dang it! <laughs> These stupid batteries. Well, we have uh, electronics being produced currently, which is good news. So we should be able to fix that shortly. Alright. Okay, it looks like you do get full power. Rita reached physical too. Good job, Rita. It looks like you do get full power for two batteries from the the two- or the four solar panels we have plus the wind turbines. Right. If we want to expand out our base fully the way I would like to, we probably need like a thousand concrete. So let's just go crazy with the concrete. We've reached the expedition. Full of a small car- oh, it is a crash site of a small cargo pod. There are all sorts of crates and spilled resources scattered around, most of them already unusable or still burning. Put out the fire so we can visit later. Usable clothes, save anything that could be eaten. How about that? Maybe clothes would have been better. Oh, we should look at research now that we've unlocked a bunch of it. So we have carbon armor, carbon crossbows, railgun snipers, which is pretty dope. Carbon fortifications, advanced furniture, 
carbon rooms, elevators, solar roofs are pretty dope. Um, it would be pretty sick to be- oh, we gotta research carbon rooms first. So maybe let's do carbon rooms, rail guns, uh, elevators, and then I would like to get solar roof. I feel like this stuff is all extra. Like, you can get it when you- if you want to get it. But we've almost, like, completed the technology tree, I think, which is kind of wild. You guys growing? You're st you're at about 50%. So when those are done, we'll just cut them. Uh, and, uh, get them out of the way. I don't- I feel like this guy's eating my crops. Maybe he's just hanging out, but I don't trust him. <laughs> uh, alright, how's the concrete business going? Yoko's handling the concrete oven, so that's good. It's not great. We're probably going to run out of power tonight because uh, one of our batteries short-circuited on us. Which makes me almost wonder if we shouldn't even get a third battery going. It takes a lot of electronics, but I mean, that's what we got the 3D printer for, right? Look at this thing go. Look at it go! Zoop zoop! <laughs> we are on three times speed, but... That's fine. Cool. And I like that it just does it on its own, so like, as our people sleep and whatnot, that- that it'll... continue to go. I think maybe we should just like, continue to build the wall... to keep the bugs out. Yeah, concrete has double the integrity. May- oh, we have so much wood though. Maybe we start by building out the wood wall? And then, like, we did with the original fortifications, we just, like, slowly replaced things over time. Like so. Yeah, our power got shut off. Makes sense. Yeah, I kind of like this. The tricky thing is it makes it harder to get in and out of the base. But, they shouldn't really need to, like, run out this way for any, like, reason, really. Like, we can put a gate at the back here. Just maybe, like, directly opposite of the... the main... fence door. So you just, like, run straight out here. And then we can move- once this wall is complete, we can move this guy out here. Maybe you put, like, a tur- or a, not a turret, but a defensive tower here, here, like, at each corner. Or maybe just, like, one here, one here. Because you'd, <laughs> you'd- if you have one here, it'll be, like, shooting into your- your pasture. I think I like this, the way this is set up. Expanding. I was talking, uh, uh to people in the comments about how, like, uh, now I understand why people set up their bases on, like, a peninsula surrounded by water, because then you only have to defend one entry point into your base, whereas, like, silly me decided to plop my base down in the middle of a valley where, like, bugs could come from almost any direction. Good job, Lara. She's back. Did she bring anything? I told her to bring food. I don't know if she did. How's the growing going? Wow, the grain cob is almost done. But melon is almost done. The fruit bush field is doing well. New fruit bush field is coming in. Smoke leaf, chew root, glitter camp. Maybe I add another field. I should probably, um, let's see here. Not plant, not plant. So they will harvest these. I would like to expand out our chew root that we have going, and our smoke leaf. Because right now we have a couple of grain cob fields, we have a lot of fruit, fruit. Um, butt melon might be a little low, but I think it's okay for now. Uh, and then I want to add another chew root field over here. So let's go ahead, food crops, chew root. I know we have chew root growing in our greenhouse over here as well. Um, but we'll just keep that going. So, the, we just need more food, because like, winter showed me that like, if we hadn't been supplementing our food with <laughs> with killing all the- or, or harvesting all the bugs that came to attack us, or like killing random olfin as they go by, uh, we could have been in pretty big trouble. Okay, things are going well. The- the grass field is growing. We're like barely into spring and it's almost harvestable already. The broadleaf bush field 
will give us a, a crazy amount of sticks, so. Look at Kana go, so industrious. We might even want to just queue up some towers then, out of wood. Just to like get everything situated the way we would like. I should, I should be holding shift when I do that. I love symmetry. So there we go. And maybe, maybe just the one. I can't imagine they would like come rushing down here, but maybe, maybe one here as well. And then we'll do this one, like I talked about. And then eventually I could see us expanding the full wall around our house here to make it, you know, more protected. And we could put another gate right here to get in and out fairly easily. But yeah, I think the I think things are going pretty well here. Hey, good job! And I'm I'm excited to get the wall up with wood first. Like, we have so much wood, and as we get more and more concrete, we can just, like, slowly replace this over time. Like, I honestly wouldn't mind queuing up, like, a chunk of the fence here just to be reconstructed with concrete and just, like, slowly work our way around the building. The thing that we do need more of if we want to keep continue to produce concrete is we'll need more rocks. So let's just like, where are the easiest rocks to, to gather? Probably like all the way over here, huh? Use mine. Like that's Rita's job, right? Yeah, or no, Vanessa's job. Yeah, Vanessa's job is just running around, cutting down trees, mining rocks. And you know, you need a person like that in your your spaceship. Let's go ahead and scavenge this guy. We had turned that off because the mantises showed up and I was afraid people were gonna get get themselves killed. But things are looking up. We haven't no bugs yet. This episode, cross your fingers, that that holds true. Three electronics in stock already? I I'm already loving the 3D printer, man. If only we could get something to automatically deliver stuff. Speaking of which, that was also something that somebody pointed out in the comments, was the drone. If you can get the drones going and uh, build one to, to like just harvest manure, uh, you can just have like an endless supply of fuel. I could see drones being super helpful because like I'm always waiting for my people to deliver crap. Um, and if I just had robots to do it for me, I wouldn't have to worry about it as much. I wonder where you build robots. Under crafting? No, maybe it's a special table that I don't have. I'm not sure. It's not a weapon. Dang wall lamps. Can't be trusted. Uh, we definitely want solar roofs now, though, because, uh, just, like, if we could swap out the whole of the house roof, you know, for, for a solar roof, or even just, like, partial part of the roof for a solar roof, man, that would be pretty dope. We could have all the power we ever want. It's like they're eating emergency rations for some reason. Is somebody no longer cooking? Not enough resources. Oh, limit reached. Okay. I was like, why aren't they eating the... The normal food? Doesn't the emergency rations make them, like, sad? We should probably... I was gonna say, why don't we not allow that right now? Cause, uh, I feel like that should be more of an emergency than it is. I wish you could like prioritize food. Well, we ran out of juice. I wonder if the 3D printer is taking up more energy than uh 
we can compensate for now. Or maybe the wind is just... Oh, yeah, the wind died. <laughs> Who would have thought? In that case, maybe we want to start, you know, more power. Just more graphene solar panels here. Ah, it's blocking access to the door. And blocks access to the window. So we could just kind of throw them out back here for now. And then, like, as we expand the access to the roof. Yeah, I guess we'll just <laughs> put one out back here. And then we'll want to build another battery, I think. We'll need more electronics, but that's what they're, the 3D printer is working on. All right, the defenses are growing. All the all the materials have been handled. It's just now getting the thing built. Cool. Well, I'm very excited. Let's pause the episode there. If you guys enjoyed, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Stranded Alien Dawn or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.